This is Today in Nashville, a celebration of the people, places, and things that make Music City a great place to live. Now your hosts, Kelly Sutton and Carol Sullivan. Hello, hello. Kelly is out. Completely unprepared. Shane is, Shane is wiring up. Listen, Not it's okay. Oh, it takes we a minute. We'll ease you into it. I'm back. Shane Talents here. Look at you. You're um. You're really. You got a thing going on. I'm representing on. Johnny Cash today. You've got a Johnny Cash shirt that I'm sorry, the moths got at, or my son. The collars chewed on a bit, and pay um, extra for that. And, and you probably did pay extra for that. <laughs> and but you have some velvet going on here. Yeah. I don't know. I love it. It's Friday. I'm into it. It's Friday. I mean, not to start the show just commenting on your clothes, but uh, you're, you've got this whole Nashville thing going and on. Yours? So there you go. A is, white dress. Is just screaming, I'm going to have like stains all over. Oh, yeah. So and we're drinking because it's Friday. I know. Luckily, it is. it's a clear liqueur. Yes, thank goodness for that. But we have Sloppy Joe's, and we'll get to that. Oh. Beach Whiskey made this for our happy hour. This is the Harvest Lemonade with American Harvest Organic Vodka. Lemonade. Topped with lemonade. Yes. And then yeah, there's beach whiskey, it. coconut. Give it a sip. See if you like it. Warm it up. Feeling it? Pretty darn He's good. Feeling it. Singer songwriter Stacy Frenis is here. She is going to perform live for us. She is, oh, I love her voice. She's on our hard rock stage. She has new music off a new album, and you'll hear it in just a few minutes. And it's time to shape up with Carrie Underwood's personal trainer, Erin Opria. Oh my gosh, I'll tell you what, she is amazing. She says, listen, the world is your gym. I don't know if I need to see that shot. Is that I you? Oh, good Get Lord. It. Good Frog Lord. Hop. That, stop, stop. Frog hops. Make it. It. Look, your legs look, you guys look just like Carrie Underwood's. <laughs> legs. Good Lord. That was awesome. You know what? There's not enough of this. Mm -hmm. I just need to go here. After seeing that, we just let's just sit here for an hour and drink. Listen, Erin Opria is amazing. She has a personal fitness team that can come to your home, but she does all the big country stars. And anyway, she'll show us Speaking some of being sweet in shape, moves. If you like Sloppy Joe's, you're going to love what's happening today in our super home surplus kitchen. Look at that. Me McCormick from Pinewood Store and Kitchen is there diligently waving onions around with her healthy spin on <laughs> the classic the Sloppy Joe recipe. I'll tell you what, she is a wellness chef. She is out there at Pinewood. She's always got cool stuff going on. And we love when she comes here, so it's great. Shania Twain. She's back. She's so back, right? Here we go. Well, it's hard. I got to get past the music intro, right? This is her new single. I wasn't just broken. Let's give it a listen. I was shy. Do you like that? We both have the same move. The head That's move. That's the natural nod. Yeah, this is like the, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Uh, Life is About to Get Good is the name of the new single. She has an album coming out at the end of September, September 29th. You can pre-order it. Yeah, the record's called Now. You can get it. You can get it now. You can get it. Yeah. Sort of now. You More have to music. wait September. More music. Different than Shania Twain, Americana singer-songwriter Jason Isbell's new album is out today, and he's playing a pretty cool show at Grimey's, and it's free. How cool is that? That's tonight at 6 o'clock. But wherever you are, I hope the high road leads you home again. The new record is called The Nashville Sound. Jason is playing with the 400 unit. Tonight's concert is, like I mentioned, free. It's going to be in the back parking lot of Grimey's. And if it rains, the show will be, the show is going to be moved to the basement east. Jason's heading out on tour soon. He'll be at the Ryman in October for five shows. Five shows at the sold Ryman. Out. He five sold them shows out. at the Ryman, sold out. This is what I love about Nashville. Guy's got five shows at the Ryman, all sold out, going on tour, but he's playing in the back parking lot of Grimey's for, for free. free. That's How cool, cool is that? Yeah. So that's really cool. That's tonight at 6 o'clock. And we continue with music stories. Pretty big deal for John Lennon's wife, Yoko Ono. She's finally been recognized as the co-writer of his hit song, Imagine. Yeah, you know, she has long been, there's been whispers that she was a co-writer of this song, of this, really it's been called the Song of the Decade. Sure. And so now the National Music Publishers Association, they had their annual meeting in Wednesday, on Wednesday, and they basically said, you know what, it's not 1971. Things have changed, and you weren't recognized then, but we will recognize you now as the co-writer of this iconic song. Which is a big deal to be added as a co-writer, especially for a song like that, because you wonder, are there royalties, back paid royalties, right? Well, you know, right after that little sentimental part, I was like, okay, so like, does she get How a much bigger she check? Paid? Like, yeah. who, do, do they take the money from someone else? Of course, I think she's getting Lennon's money. I really, I don't know, actually. She's not I broke. No idea. I think 
she's doing okay. No. But she was quite pleased to be recognized, and they did play some audio of John Lennon talking about how she was the driving force behind that song. And there was a quote, I think, Sean Lennon said, it's one of the happiest days of their lives, right? Yeah, yeah. That she was and finally he, recognized as a writer. Yeah, very cool. Sean Lennon looks just like John Lennon. Yeah. Like, in the same clothes, John Lennon. It's just <laughs> weird. Anyway, okay, I don't know. You probably saw this on the internet. It's a little alarming. It's a little ridiculous. They did a survey about where does chocolate milk come from, and this, like, stumped the nation. Yeah, the Innovation Center for U.S. Dairy asked 1,000 grown adults in America, where does chocolate milk come from? 7% said brown cows. 48% well, they they're not sure, and apparently many people squeeze Hershey's syrup or they don't squeeze Hershey's syrup in a glass anymore, right? Now, what do you mean 47% said they weren't sure? They don't yeah. know? <laughs> Where's the <laughs> other, like, so only half of America knows that you just add chocolate to white milk? Uh, the whole My kids are four and they know that. The whole thing's baffling I will. Me. I will admit, I thought when I was a kid that marshmallows grew on trees. Stop, that's kind of adorable. <laughs> <laughs> you can, never found a marshmallow tree, though, did no, you? No, 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 no. I've looked for years. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and on that note, don't look any further for your weekend plans. It is your Sarah Weekend Showcase. Porter Flea. Oh, this is so fun. They only do it a couple times a year. Porter Flea, Porter Flea Summer Market starts tonight. Skyway Studios, East Nashville. There are tickets available for the Friday night pre-show. And then Saturday, it is free and open to the public so you can peruse all these great artisans. It's really, really cool. You'll want to check it out. Tonight is night at the market, Nashville Farmer's Market, 5 to 9. Restaurants and shops opening up late. Live music, too. And your dad's going to love this one for Father's Day. This Saturday and Sunday, it's Thunder on the Cumberland. It's a powerboat championship at Riverfront Park. It's free to go watch. It starts at 11 a.m., and I definitely thought that was going to say Thunder from Down Under when I Would you just, you just do it? Thunder from Down Under. <laughs> And, you know, if that's not Dad's thing, go to the Jefferson Street Jazz and Blues Festival. How cool is that? It kicks off today at 4 on 5th Avenue between Demombrian and Korean War Veterans Boulevard. See, I love that because it starts at 4. Mm -hmm. It means you'll be home by 7. It yeah. sounds great. Saturday afternoon at 3 at the Bicentennial Mall. Tickets are available between 20 and 30 bucks. Love it. The Sounds are also home this weekend, and this Sunday will be a special day at the park for military members and their families. It's the Piedmont Natural Gas Military Sundays presented by Tennessee 811 and Channel 4. There's special discounts for active and veteran military members and, of course, their family members as well. And then it's Family Fun Day at the park on Sunday. And the sounds are celebrating dads. The first 2,000 fans get a camo baseball hat, so get there early. For tickets, call the number on your screen or go to NashvilleSounds.com. I love me a sounds game.